Now, the thank yous. Um, my first thank you is to all of you. You've been a wonderful audience. You've indulged our sense of humor, and it's been great to have you here. Um, the second thank yous, of course, go to iHighway, to John Brown, our host, his associates, Sheldon and Brian, uh, for all they did for us. Suzanne Wolf um, from ISI was an honorary iHighway I staff member from about Wednesday, at which point she stopped sleeping for several days. Um, she has been just wonderful. She's an expert in all things networking. She, I, I wouldn't know where to start. We, we couldn't have done it without her. Suzanne, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always amazing to watch the, as Tuesday comes along, or, get past about 2 o'clock and it just sort of spirals as everyone starts to bail. But uh, to those of you that are sticking around, um, I want to say thank you for coming. I hope we uh, provided a good conference and a good forum for you. And I think we have some exciting things here on IPv6 and multicast. Hopefully we can take some of that knowledge back with us and deploy that in our networks. I know that my staff is going to be trying to do that. I want to say thank you uh, first to the Folks in the back corner over there that are talking and ignoring me, Lucy, and <laughs> the ULO guys have helped with the multicast stuff and helping us get on a, on a multicast network, and it's been a, a great help, and I want to thank them very much. That's, you know, Chef and, and all the guys back there that, that have done a lot of work. The uh, Sue Joyner over there on the other side with uh, helping with the real audio and helping make sure we have tapes of everything so that folks can come back later and look at this. I want to thank uh, Betty in the back and Carol for helping with things and Susan for helping uh, keep the meetings going and keeping the agenda going and, and all of that. All the other merit people that were here to uh, help put together stuff and to, to put together in a team. That's the important part of the team concept. We're all competitors, but we all must also work together cooperatively so that we can route our packets around. Last, I want to thank my staff. I'm not sure how many of them are here at the moment, probably out scurrying around getting things done. Um, again, Sheldon Jones, Brian Parker, Holly Steinberg, Shelley, um, trying to think here, brain dead, Suzanne Wolf for coming in from out of town to help put some things together to Charlie Winkless from the local Verio side to help make sure that we had uh, kept our circuits up and those things. Also want to thank our, our telecom sponsors who helped donate circuits into the show. MCI WorldCom brought in two of the T1s via US West. Both of them worked very hard to make sure that uh, things were up and running. Uh, to Eastfire Communications also for helping to make sure that we got things up and running. And we had all four circuits running on Sunday. And again, as I said in my opening comments, I think one of the things that's important is to make sure that we walk away from here leaving something behind, and we are. We're leaving infrastructure behind in the hotel so that this hotel can now be able to provide additional conferences and additional internet uh, or other communications related services to future conferences. One of those conferences is in fact tomorrow. There will be an IDTF working group meeting here uh, because of the fact that we have some of the infrastructure being left behind. It's not just slap it down, tear it up, and throw it away later. To those of you that are future uh, NANOG, attend, uh, NANOG hosts, um, try to figure out ways of hosting your NANOG in such a fashion. It's a community effort. I'm not saying that what we've done in the past hasn't been. We're trying to set it up where the hotel, if you're not in a prime area like the Bay Area or LA or DC is where we're going next, leave stuff behind, leave infrastructure behind so that we keep making our mark and we keep putting the net out there. I think that's very important. Native American Systems for putting in all the wiring, Comsco for donating wiring and, and equipment, um, Border States for... Okay. Um, border States, Siemens Electric, I know New Mexico and ISP that came in from uh, southern, uh, from the western, eastern part of our state, uh, Southwest Cyberport, another local ISP for going through and putting things in. Uh, 
it's important that we put everything together in, in, a, in a cooperative fashion. And that's what I like about the net, and that's what I like about NAMOC. I hope we can continue to do that uh, as we progress forward. Thank you very much. A couple announcements about what we're doing with the terminal rooms. The terminal room will stay open for the next several hours. Wireless uh, on 802.11 through our highway stuff will still stay up through noon tomorrow because of the IETF function, and other net connectivity will be up for a while. This room is going to shut down very, very quickly. So please make sure that you exit out as quickly as possible. We need to get the merit equipment packed up and inventory and so forth. So please make sure that you uh, you go through that as a, and get out of here as quickly as you can. The drops in the terminal room will still be open, so if you want to use there, you're, you're welcome to do so. Hope the music last night was good, was it? Yeah? Okay, cool. Just want to make sure we throw a good party here, right? So that's the fun part, too. Um, I think I'm done and uh, have a safe journey back to wherever it is uh, that you're headed. Thank you for coming to Albuquerque. John is good at intuiting what was on my slides. We also want to thank Compact. They've been faithful for many meetings at supplying wireless cards. The multicast guys back there, thank you again. We're so proud of our association with you. Dwayne, thanks for schlepping out again. Merritt, Betty Burke, everyone. Carol, thank you so much. And uh, bye. <laughs>